All right, Libra, beautiful. It's a beautiful pull, but you're going to have to clear out some stuff before you can start to see the benefits of everything that you've worked for. So from the Halloween Oracle, the underworld, where all things pause and begin again, and then Gaia's garden from hidden realms, fruitation, abundance, and reaping what you sow. It's beautiful, and this did show up as an ally for you. Now the underworld. This is saying that you need to consider exactly what you have to do to transform your life into something you find easier or more authentic to you. And it says that this may involve changing course, but it's saying that you need to keep moving, even though things may feel like they're falling away from your life and your life may appear bare, it's only temporary. Space is being made into which you can create the new. But the new that's coming to you is what you put out there in the first place with Gaia's Garden, but it's perfect. It's perfect. This is saying that success comes to you from the fruits of your intentions and all is well with the world as a result. This is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as your greatest good now manifests for you. So everything that you've been doing is going to come back to you in a very good way. You know, and I want to say too, looking at those Oracle cards, like it's about goddamn time, you know, but then I also kind of feel like a little bit of a warning with the underworld right? Because you're going to have to do what's necessary to clear that space. All right, here's your overall, the Three of Cups. All right, and we'll see how this is playing out. But you know, what I love about this is the feeling of being able to celebrate, right? And then support, support from people who actually give a shit about you and what you're doing. Having the support of others, it may be that you're needing to reach out for that support or this is coming to you now to kind of help you clear all that crap away, right? Because I feel, you know, and it's not that I'm looking at it in a negative way. It's just that I feel like what you need to clear out is the negative, you know, otherwise it may prevent the good of Gaia's garden coming to you, you know, in the past, the eight of wands. Now, <clears throat> like I've said before with this card, right, you know, it is fast moving energy, things moving quickly. It is about communication, right? But the big thing here for me is this is lining everything up, getting everything lined up so that we can get to a completion here because we're at an eight. So in the past, I feel like, you know, especially with the three of cups being there, that you've done what was necessary to get things in order in your life. And now, you know, there's this support, this celebration, right? I don't necessarily feel like third party here. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Okay. And you know, it, that's what I'm talking about. So the eight of cups in the present moment, you know, and for me, I'm looking at that going, okay, so what are we needing to move on from? right? And it's not that what you have done in the past has led you to this point. I don't think that that's it. I think that you're getting everything lined up now so that you can move on from something. And I say that because we're still looking at the Three of Cups as support, you know, for you and what you're doing and like needing to reach out for that now because you're going to have to move on from something, from something probably, you know, difficult that you spent a lot of time with. It's no longer fulfilling you. But you're like paving the way for this almost. You know, but we'll see here. Future conditions, the two pentacles. And here, here's where I'm worried about this. Now, I mean, you know, definitely some of you can spin this as a third party situation, but I would expect that to be, you know, the circumstances around you, not your overall here. And that's how I kind of look at this. With the two of pentacles. What I worry about in future conditions here is you continuing to try to keep this situation going, even though you have paved the way for you to be able to move on, but something is like pulling you back, you know, but if I'm hoping here that for some of you, you're kind of looking at it and going, you know, I don't need to keep trying to figure this situation out or keep it going anymore. Like, it's almost like you need to follow through, you know? And that may be where, you know, the support is coming through here. You know, you may have people around you going, look, man, you know, stop doing that to yourself. Don't do that anymore. You know, you have plans. You had things lined up. Why aren't you following through on it? You know, and it may just be that you need to figure some things out here before you actually move on, you know, but I still see the three of cups is a good thing here. Oh, my God, you know. I say that, and, and this is the shit that comes up. 
But again, right, this is your advice. This is your best path to follow. If we're looking at the Three of Swords in terms of advice, you know, if you've experienced heartbreak, it's about, you know, forgiving and moving on, right? Needing to come to a place of forgiveness and understanding. But you need to go, especially if you're in a situation that is hurting you, you know? <clears throat> and I think that, you know, definitely you're going to have to take a look at that third party situations. I still don't see that as the circumstances that you're currently going to be dealing with. You know, that may have been whatever has happened before. The problem is, is that, you know, as far as the eight of cups in the present moment, you're still with it. You are still with it. But I still feel like you've done everything necessary to like open the door here for you to walk like I'm gone. You know, that damn eight of cups drives me nuts. Oh, <laughs> In your environment, death. Damn, man. Yeah. <sighs> this situation for you has been over with for a long time. But you need to make the transition. Like, big time. But I don't know. I feel like something about it. You know, whatever we're talking about here, whether we're talking about a relationship or work, you know, or just uh, different situations involving other people. Something about it has got you like trying to still keep it going or like trying to figure it out even though it's over with. And it's not that you need to accept that. I think you already know that. I just think it's not that easy for you to make the transition. And it may be because we need to look at where heartbreak is playing in here with the Three of Swords. Now for you, like I said, you know, this is something that you've been through and experienced. You know, you're going to have to take a look at that. It's almost like a reminder. This is kind of how I say that, you know, look at how you feel. Look at what you're doing. This isn't worthy of you. It's over, you know. Now, the other thing, though, too, is, you know, looking at the Three of Swords, right? I also kind of feel like if you're hurting someone else, then, yeah, it, it's time to let go and move on, you know. But that's only because you're not fulfilled, you know, it's not necessarily that you're doing something that you're not supposed to. I don't think that that's it. But with death, it's all about you. You know, the situation is definitely over with, but you have to make the transition. Your hopes and your fears, the Empress. Okay. Now, with her showing up as hopes and fears, I mean, you know, absolutely. We could be talking about, you know, as far as the fertility side goes here hopes and fears surrounding possibly, uh, you know, someone being pregnant, which is weird because I usually don't get that with her. But, you know, as far as you go, right, it's about being able to enjoy your life and enjoy that damn garden, right? Because it's all the way around you. Do you feel comfortable? If you're not comfortable and you're not happy and you don't feel like you get to enjoy your life, then, you know, it's time to take a look at why, you know, you're still trying to keep things in balance. You know, but I still think that for some of you, it's just you're trying to figure it out here, right? Like you're, you're needing to, to get like, you know, more details figured out, you know, but you, you've already started. You've already paved the road for this, you know, but like I said, with death there, it's kind of like you're still like trying to figure it out, but why, right? But with the Empress, you know, I feel like the hope here is that you know, you get to enjoy your life, have more abundance, right? And that's where I feel like you're hoping to be, you know, feeling good, feeling comfortable, feeling abundant. Oh, and then coming out the moon. Mm -hmm. All right. The moon coming out on this, you know, what I worry about here is not so much that you're looking at things in a distorted way, because I don't think that that's it. I think that there may be a lot of, you know, anxiety and fear possibly here. But it's not like a Nine of Swords type of way. It's about what you don't know or what you feel like, you know, you, you may not see. You know, I don't necessarily feel like it's deception. I think that there are probably mixed emotions surrounding having to move on. Because something happens here where you're still kind of like trying to figure it out. You may not be very clear on how you feel. Now, you know, again, with the Three of Cups, right? That there's still, to me, at least some level of like celebrating here or at least support, you know? 
but that bothers me with the moon coming out. You know, what is it that you don't, it's almost like, so when we're talking about the moon, it's needing to pay attention to your instincts when you're moving forward, right? Because you don't know, you don't know what's ahead, right? You may have paved the road for you to be able to move on, but what are you moving on to? You know, but the other thing is, is if we're talking about emotions involved here with something that definitely needs to be over with and you need to transition, right? It could be that, all right, the high priestess. There may be some things that, yeah, I mean, absolutely with the Eight of Wands that were communicated to you that you weren't aware of that may be kind of throwing you into this confusion here with the moon, or at least not understanding. Now, the other part of this, though, is that, you know, with the High Priestess and looking at the Eight of Wands, I feel like for some of you, you felt like intuitively this was the right thing to do. Like, I know I need to do this. I need to pay attention to what my intuition is telling me. I have to follow through on this. And you're doing, you know, what's necessary, right? But then I also feel like the information you weren't aware of. The Queen of Swords, right? So if that is the case, if you're moving into the Queen of Swords out of this with the Eight of Cups and Death, it's like not necessarily being harsh with somebody else, but kicking your own self in the ass. Like, okay, it's time to go now, right? Logically, we know this. You know, and it's almost like, no, I can't, like, I can't, it kind of has like a nine of wands type of feel almost like I can't let this in. Okay. I've experienced too much. I've been through too much crap. I can't back down, you know, but there's still a part of you though, that is open to possibly what you weren't aware of, which is why we're like, you know, what do I do with this? With the Queen of Pentacles coming out, though, you know, like I said, it's like you're trying to, you know, get some details in order, you know, figure things out here. But the thing is, is that this can completely disrupt your want to, you know, provide security and stability for yourself, you know, because I, I see this about you, about you ending a situation here, at least needing to transition to where you are more comfortable, more secure, more abundant and allowing everything that you've been working for to come in, you know. But something about that high priestess in the moon, you weren't aware of this and it comes out and that may be where you're like, you know, and with three of cups, right? Despite the fact that there's the three of swords and there is at least some level of heartbreak over the fact that this isn't working out or fulfilling you, you know, it could be that we're talking about possibly reunion, you know, but I still think, and I'm telling you, like, I still think with that three of cups here, it, it's about, you know, you needing to reach out for support or at least start supporting yourself a little bit more here so that you can get to that level of, I did it, you know, but right now coming out, it looks like, you know, where you were set to go is like, there's like the, the monkey wrench being thrown into it because of what you weren't aware of, right? or at least not having a lot of clarity on your own emotions here and possibly ignoring what your intuition was telling you in the first place, you know, but you need to clear this out. You got to clear this out. That is the only way that that queen of pentacles and empress is going to come through for you. So strength, needing to have the strength to do this, but then also needing to have the strength to realize that you need some time to enjoy your life with play, right? We need that time where we're taking a break from all the difficult things that we're dealing with and, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, we're surviving, taking care of things, paying the bills, da, 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 right? You still need to have time to enjoy what you have been working so hard for. But there is new growth. Once you open up to the realization here that, you know, you deserve to be happy almost, that is where you start seeing all this new growth coming through, you know, but you need to have the strength to realize this, right? Everything doesn't have to be so much like pressure, you know, that's kind of what I feel like here, the pressure to do certain things, right? You need to have a release almost, but I do like that new growth showed up and have faith, trust your faith in the situation, right? Trust your intuition. Your intuition was right to begin with, you know, because with death being connected to the eight of cups, there's nothing that you can do that's going to make this more fulfilling for you, you know? Whatever it is we're talking about here, work relationship, doesn't matter. But needing to focus on love here. And, you know, I feel like, especially with the strong feminine energy coming out, like more love for yourself, right? But as you're moving on here, you know, just make sure that, you know, whatever was done to you doesn't affect you with how you look at everybody that comes into your life for you. 
but have faith. Have faith that, you know, you were right to begin with here. 